Okay, everybody, I'm back once again for another VHS collection video, and this time we're going to do my uh, Disney VHS collection, uh, in which I have 21 clamshells and five slip covers and two tapes over there without their cases. So let's get started on the collection. First uh, VHS I have is, you need to scoot up a bit, there we go. First VHS is Air Bud Golden Receiver. This is the uh, second Air Bud movie. I don't have the first one, but I'll try to see if I can get it soon. You and your kids will love this movie, says Kansas City Sun. Here's the spine. And the back. A fun movie with a real bite, says Gene Wolfe's Hollywood. And it's rated G and it's 90 minutes. This is a 1998 VHS and a 1998 film. Here's the ink label. And the print date is November 19th, 1998. This is actually a good Air Bud movie. And I have another Air Bud movie right here. It's Air Bud World Pup. Um, a new breed of soccer dad. It features U.S. soccer greats Brandy Chastain, uh, Brianna Scurry, Brianna Scurry, sorry, uh, and Tisha Vicerini. Now, Air Bud Golden Receiver had to do with uh, football. This has something to do with uh, soccer, which... Uh, that's uh, European football. Rated G and it is 83 minutes. This is a 2000 VHS. And it's got the blue lid on there. Ink label. The print date is March 5th, 2003. So this is a reprint, but it has the same previews and everything on it. And next up is the 1996 VHS of Aladdin and the King of Thieves, starring Robin Williams. And I have seen this movie before, and I have to go with the first Aladdin movie. This one was just decent. I haven't seen The Return of Jafar, but I will sometime. Uh, there's the ink label. And the print date is July 23rd, 1996. Used to be a formal rental at Movie Gallery. Here's Angels in the End Zone with Christopher Lloyd. And this is the this is actually a TV movie. Lighthearted Fun says New York Daily News. Rated it's not rated, but it's 87 minutes. Latin of the King of Thieves is rated G, but it's 80 minutes. forgot to mention that, or maybe I did. I don't know. Here's the ink label. The print date is October 28th, 1998. Now, I heard a lot of people say that uh, this was... Now, I heard a lot of people say that this was... A really really bad movie I actually haven't seen it yet so I don't know but when I watch it I'll let you guys know what I think of it but I do have the first film Angels in the Outfield with Danny Glover Tony Danza and Christopher Lloyd a flat-out wonderful movie says Gene Gene Chalet at the Today Show and a lot of people consider this as one of Disney's best sports films, and I have to agree with that. Funny and Irresistible, A Dream of a Hit, says the movie Minute. Rated PG, and it's 103 minutes. Co-produced with Caravan Pictures, who nowadays is Spyglass Entertainment. There's the ink label. Printed on February 21st, 1995. But Angels in the Outfield's a good movie. Love it. Here's the Aristocats. It 
it's in uh, the film's from 1970 and this is the second movie produced after the second Disney animated film produced after Walt Disney's death bursting at the seams with rib tickling fun says entertainment today 79 minutes for G Well, actually, no. It's the first. I'm sorry. Because, uh... Here's the sticker label. And the print date is March 27th, 1996. Because at the time... Uh... Because when... At the time when, uh... Walt Disney, uh, passed on... Before that, he was producing, uh, The Jungle Book... Here's the big green from the creators of Angels in the Outfield. A funny, here's another, it's another funny soccer comedy. The whole family is going to love the big green, says the American Urban Radio Network. Rated PG, it's 100 minutes. Yeah. Here's the ink label. The print date is December 10th, 1995. Printed 12 days before I was born. Isn't that cool? And sorry about the racket upstairs. My dad, that's just my dad. But, anyway, let's move on. Here's the 1999 VHS of A Bug's Life, Disney Pixar film. And there's uh, Dot, I think. That's her name. Features two sets of hilarious outtakes as seen in theaters. And bonus features include a Jerry's Game and an Academy Award winning animated short. And exclusive sneak peek at Disney's Tarzan. Okay, G, 95 minutes. And uh, sorry about the whistling. My dad's really annoying. There's the ink label. Print date is March 10th, 1999. And next tape I have is in a uh, plastic rental case. It is a... It's the 1999 VHS of Doug's first movie. Based off the uh, TV series, which used to be on Nickelodeon, but then um, they started running it on ABC's One Saturday Morning. So then Disney took over the rights to it. <laughs> Will charm adults as it engages in their children, says Kenneth Turin of Guest Critic of Siskel and Ebert. Um, read G, and it's 83 minutes. Yeah, rental cases are a pain to get op to open. Uh, there's the ink label. The print date is August 6, 1999. There we go. And I know the and you may have seen this in one of my uh, VHS updates. In this, and everybody knows the, the the nostalgia critic hates this movie, and he also hates the show. Next up is the next up is the 2001 VHS of the Emperor's New Groove, and I've seen this movie too. And it's a funny one. The grooviest animated trip since Aladdin says USA Today. And once again, read G, and it's 77 minutes. And it's got the creepy THX logo. It doesn't creep me out. And A Bug's Life also had that logo. Here's the ink label, and there's and I can't see the print date because of the blockbuster label in the way. Next up is Flubber with Robin Williams. This is a 1998 VHS, 1997 film. Outrageously funny says WBAI Radio New York. This is a remake of the 1961 film called The Absent-Minded Professor. 
I haven't seen that film yet, but this is actually a funny one. Rated PG, but and it's 94 minutes. And it's got the original ads in there. Here's the ink label, and it's printed on March 15th, 1998. Printed two days before uh, St. Patrick's Day of that year. <clears throat> and there's a bunch of green in this movie, so perfect timing of a print date for St. Patrick's Day. <laughs> Alright. Next up, here's a classic film, The Fox and the Hound. This is a 1994 VHS, part of the Walt Disney Classics Collection. Superior, a landmark Disney film, says Joel Siegel, Good Morning America. Rated G and it's 83 minutes. This movie is a pretty good one. I know this uh, tape has a, uh, here's the ink label, and the print date is January 3rd, 1994. I know this tape has a uh, brief behind the scenes look at a sneak trailer for The Lion King at the beginning. And next up is Gordy, the talking pig who made it big. Kids will squeal over Gordy, says Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. You may have seen this in one of my VHS updates along with uh, Doug's first movie. Charming, a Charlotte's Web meets Forrest Gump's is Boston Phoenix. Read a G and it's uh, 90 minutes. And this movie was released before uh, Babe was, and like I said, um, I like uh, Babe better, but this is still a good movie. Ink label print date is October 14th, 1995. There we go. It was printed, uh, that tape was printed on my aunt's birthday, so, yeah. Uh... Next up is The Great Mouse Detective. Nineteen eighty six film, nineteen ninety two VHS. It's magic, says Joel Siegel of ABC TV, two thumbs up says Siskel and Ebert. Read a G and it's uh seventy four minutes. I haven't watched this film in years, so I'll need to watch this movie again. A lot of people love this movie, so. The print date is April 28th, 1993. And I'll show you guys one more tape and then we'll stop here for this part. Now, this is not a Disney film, but uh, Disney nowadays uh, is the one that produces the DVD releases and stuff. The Great Muppet Caper from Jim Henson Video, but nowadays it's produced by uh, Walt Disney Home Entertainment. Uh, I actually like this movie. It's pretty cool. It's got uh, cameo appearances by John Cleese, Robert Morley, Peter Ustinov, Charles Grodin, Diana Rigg, and Jack Warden. Read a G, 98 minutes. The film is from 1981. Here's the ink label, printed on December 16th, 1992. 1992 VHS. And we're going to go ahead and stop here for part one, and I'll see you guys in part two, which will show, in which uh, hopefully that will be the final part, in which I will have six clamshells left, and then we'll go in with the rest of my tapes. So I will see you guys in part two, which will be coming up very soon.